Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a tips and tricks video. Once again, I've done one a long time ago, but I think it's time to uh, maybe uh, do a new one so that everybody knows that uh, there's a security risk involving your router. If you don't change the default username and password from that device. When you buy a router, uh, basically it has a login page. A router has an internal menu that is available and that you can see from your computer. Some routers come with a utility that gives you access to this, but a lot of uh, routers just are um, kind of manual settings that you'll go to. So today if you've seen my news bulletin, I was talking about a malware that infects Android phones and tablets and that can uh, basically change the settings of your router and transform it basically into a malware machine. And I've seen as a tech guy over the past few years viruses that actually changed uh, the DNS for example, uh, which means you go on the internet but on websites that are not the ones you should go through. Uh, often bad or malware, malware ridden websites also, um, you will have sometimes, um, you know, changes to the uh, firewall of your router. Uh, sometimes it's turned off, all in the effort to try to infect your PC and, you know, make your, uh, basically, your life a little miserable. So that means they have to get access to the router, and often it's because most routers are at the default username and password which is in most cases admin, admin, or admin with no password, or admin, password, a variant of that. So, how do you change that? First of all, you need to go to your router's setup page or home page. How do you do that? Well, you open your browser. Any browser will do. Any browser. There, you will actually, on the bottom right in Windows, you have the connection you have a little icon that shows your internet connection. You can right click on that and open the network and sharing center. You will see connections. Click on your own connection and click the details. Here you will see IPv4 default gateway. That's your router's internal gateway. So basically that's where you're going to get your router's main page. Um, if you don't know the username or the password of your router, uh, sometimes there's a sticker on the bottom of the router with all that information. It even often has actually that default gateway address or IP address. It will be written in a manual or if you don't know, just Google your own router's model number and check it out on the web and you'll find the information. So. We know that it's 192.168.1.1 for me. What you'll need to do in your browser at the address bar at the top, you will type 192.168.1.1. In my case, and there are variations of this. There's a 0 0.1, there's 2.1. Some are in the 10 range, so 10.0.0.1. So depending on your router, check it out and press enter you should actually get to the login page of your routers. So here you see my router is right here, Linksys router. My username, I've kept it at admin. I always keep the username at admin. I don't think it's a great uh, problem, but you can change that also in your router if you prefer and have a username of your own. And then you have, of course, the password. So here is my password that I'm actually entering, which is a little long and you click login. There you'll get into the page of configuration of your own router. Go into what's called administration. That's where you will find where you can change root or password. So you can enter your new password here. You enter to confirm your password on second and once that is done click the save, click the save settings in your router. That will change your router's default password. Once again, like I said, you can also change on some routers, not all, but some routers, um, you will also be able to change the username if you want. I always keep admin because it's kind of universal, so I never have to ask for a username when I go to somebody's 
uh, you know, when I, as a tech guy, I go to uh, my tech guy duties. I always know it's admin, then I'll just need to a ask for the password. Or if it's in some cases a password that I've actually put in, I sometimes keep a log of the passwords so that my clients, if they lose their password, they have uh, somebody they can call. So once that is done, you know that you are more secure now because all the viruses out there actually use the same little log file, the same little list of username and password, which is really common to all routers. And it's much easier this way. So do this. Make sure that you do this. If you're not sure if you can do it on your own, ask somebody to do it for you. It's extremely important to change that information. That will keep you safer uh, on your computer and on the internet. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us a thumbs up and hope you enjoy our little videos.